Ray Ryan in the 60s, and now Dave Vanyan and the group The Damned have made it a hit in the 80s. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. It's quite a unique thing to have you both sitting on the settee. Uh, how old is that song, Barry? Uh, 1804, I think it was. <laughs> no, um, it came out in 1968. 1968, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, it stood the test of time, hasn't it? Ah, a classic it is. Ah, a classic, yeah. Do you remember when you first heard it, did your brother actually sing it to you? Yeah, he did. He, um, it was the first song he ever wrote. It's your brother Paul, yeah. of course. First, first song, song, first he, song ever he ever wrote, yeah, yeah, follow that. Oh, yeah. Huh, yeah. Um, but no, I remember when I first heard it, I thought, yeah, it's, it's very different. It's either going to be a huge hit or, you know, go into obscurity. Oh, look, there you are, both of you together. What sort of hair you've got. <laughs> oh, that's not very fair, is it? Oh, it's a nice one. That's how we remember you back in Eloise days. <laughs> Don't look so bad. Anyway, Dave, why did you decide to pick up Eloise and, uh, and continue her triumph? Well, it uh, was a song that I kind of grew up with and things. It was a song I always wanted to do. It took me about three years to persuade everyone else to do it, but uh, it was worthwhile. Oh, it's done, it's done well. You're number three. That's right, yeah. The trouble with a song like that is obviously it was done for full orchestra and things originally, and due to uh, modern technology, you can now do that for a few fingers, luckily. Yes, yes, you yeah, managed to create... Strings, at least. But it's a different sound. Oh, it's the same oh, song, yeah, but it's a very it different it's, sound. It's, it's very much, um, you know, we, uh, we took it and decided to put our mark on it as well. So, the question is, Barry, what do you think of their version? I like it. I mean, the, the minute do you want I have five and all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, I like it. It's it's good because it's not. They haven't tried to copy mine. I mean, there's another version now, which is just a copy of my my old one, which there's no point in doing. No. I like it. It's got the sort of damn stamp on it, and it's good. It's got a lot of energy. In it. And of course, um, back there in 1968, you had to have a full orchestra and a full choir as well, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it was it was a huge production. I remember about 60 piece orchestra and choir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very long as well. Very long. It went on for about seven minutes. The original version. Yeah. And uh, it took about six weeks to record or something. It seems incredible now. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is one track. You know, it's sort of particular. No, there, there was. It was sort of done on I think eight track or something. Yeah. But uh, technology has changed a lot now, and that's the great thing. You could actually reproduce the song on stage now. At the time, it was a nightmare trying to reproduce mm. that, you know. Just find the stage big enough. That's yeah, really. Right. Yeah. I must say, I do appreciate the fact that you've come in so early in the morning with all your wonderful <laughs> outfit. I mean, well, it's I've, terrific. I haven't gone to bed yet, that's the oh, thing. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you, you had a spot of worry in your life, have you? You've got oh, that grey streak uh, going through your hair. About ten years of worry. Yeah, yeah. It's a big problem. It's quite an art. Yeah, thing, you're isn't it? you're intrigued by um, anything that's vaguely sort of frightening, occult, macabre, aren't mm, you? Yes and no. It depends what it is. Is it really. true that you no. used to sleep in a coffin? <laughs> Very uncomfortable. No, uh, not really. What do you mean, not really? <laughs> well, they're a bit small and cramped. You know, it's not yeah. really. Oh. But you have, haven't you? Well, you I haven't have tried slept that in many. a coffin, haven't you? No. Is that all part of the Where hype? Where did you ever hear that from? <laughs> oh, we've heard well, all these yeah, funny yeah, things yes. about you. Yeah. You used no. to be a grave digger. Is that I true? To, yeah, that's true. I used to for about two and a half years. Mm. Did you enjoy yes. that? I did because um, of the isolation, the fact I was in the country and things, you know, and plus the time was my own. So you don't I particularly could, associate uh, cemeteries with fun, do you? Well, no, but uh, what I meant was that it was... Um, it was good because you put your own hours in, you know, you could get, I could get the work done quickly mm -hmm. and uh, have a lot of time where I could get into London where I'd actually started working with the band then. So that was important, I wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. And yeah. just to continue the theme that we're talking about, is it true that Paul is now writing some more songs for the damned? Well, he's, he's not so much writing songs for us, but he is writing. He's writing, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He's writing. And you're going to, hope to hopefully pick up one or two along the line. Well, no, we're back in 68, and now the damned are rocketing up the charts with their own stylish version. Here they are, Eloise. And when that star goes by, I hold it in my hands and cry. Her love was mine. You know my sun will shine.
love to care But she's not there And when I'd find you I'd be so kind You'd want to stay I know you'd stay The number three sound, maybe it'll become a number one sound very soon. <coughs> Congratulations. Are you slightly you surprised, Barry, actually, that a song like that has sort of come in again with a different rendering? No, I'm not. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a good pop song. You know, I think it's a, one of the definitive sort of 60s pop songs. I think it deserved a second run. Really. Are you surprised that someone like Dave and the Damned picked it up? Yeah, but I'm a bit, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. It really brings it into the 1980s with a, yeah, exactly. a heck of a, a thump. <laughs> but you, you haven't got a pop video to go with it, which we don't I find have quite video, surprising. No. Unfortunately, MCA didn't quite stretch their budget for that Well, one. maybe it'll teach them a lesson. Because the original version didn't have a video either. It did, actually. I it did. was the very first video that ever was ever done. Oh, I was, oh, I was being clever. I was, I was going to say, well, in those days, of course, we didn't have videos. It was there. the very first one, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, wow. We'll have to have a look at that, too. Yeah, we will, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> Time for the weather.